Hi, right, so in this lecture we're gonna um, do a really quick one because the last two are quite long. Um, so we're just gonna make a door with a pivot so we can animate it later. Uh, first of all, let's just have a quick look at our um, our list and see how we're doing with that. And tick off any that we've done so far. Um, okay, so we come down to, we're just about to do this. Okay, so we've done the main white box, so we can fill that in green. And we've done the hut roof, and that's done. Tick that off. Nice job. And we've done the chimney. We can tick that off. And we've done the steps, handrail, and porch. So we can tick that off. Making some really good progress. Um, the hanging trinkets here, I've put that red when you weren't looking because we're not going to do box map versions of those. Um, so let's go do the door. Okay, first thing to do is just isolate this so we can um, not confused or bogged down with all these other objects in the scene. Just isolate selection. There we go. I'm going to turn shadows off as well because that's a little bit um, distracting. There we go. That's better. That's all we need is a box to fit inside there with the pivot point where the hinges are going to be. So you can swing it, open it and close it. Uh, okay, so let's just create a box. Roughly the right size. Can always, okay, let's get it into position. It's a bit thick, but that's all right. Got to modify that one way. Can just slide these up and down like this. Just move your mouse, hold the left mouse button and slide them up and down like this. Okay, so if we get that roughly right. This is gonna be an old rickety door when we do it, so doesn't have to be perfect at this stage as long as it fits nicely it's almost there let's just make it to, to bring the height down there we go so we got a little gap all the way around that's fine uh, let's just move it out of there for a minute and let's take the width down because that is one thick door there you go. And this is all going to be wooden planks and blotting and weathered and look really cool when we've done it. So, so there's our door. Oh, we're going to change it to a uh, poly, editable poly. There we go. And then we're going to move the pivot over here so we can animate it. So if we do that, effect pivot only, and just literally move it over. Square right in, and so we can get it in the right place. That looks good. Actually, it looks like it's gone a bit too far. Yeah, so we pull it back a little bit. There we go. That's it. Let's try that. So we've got our door. We've got our pivot. Let's just rotate it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I'll just give you a very quick demonstration of some animation. So this is our animation bar. We're not going to use this. I'm going to delete it afterwards, but it's just a quick intro into it. Um, so this is our timeline. Um, and we're playing at NTSC 30 frames a second. Okay, so, so every second it will go 30 frames along this near one. You know, two, so it's three seconds of a, approximately on my time, but and you can adjust that number. You can make that um, end time. Let's make it 300 if you want to. There you go. But what we're going to do is going to auto key this. So we're just going to move that along to say 60. So two seconds, one, two. No, that's too long. Okay, one second. It's going to open in one second. And that's it. 
Again, I'm going to slide my bar. And on the next second, it's going to close. So I can literally just get this key here, hold down Shift, and copy it to that position. And there we go. We now go back, press play, open, close. That's it. Perfect. And we can tell, we'll turn that off. Tell Max that we only want 60 frames because like so click OK and it will just loop now loop away simple as that and you can export that and Max and uh, Unity will recognize that um, you can have it as an FBX file uh, and I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff so not to worry so that's that's easy that's our door so without further ado I'm going to end this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.